What's up everybody? In today's video we'll be taking a look at HyperX's latest standalone microphone, the Quadcast. The HyperX Quadcast is a condenser style microphone that offers a ton of great features for those looking to get more serious with their streaming or podcast audio. With a solid build comprised mainly of metal and plastic, the Quadcast is much more than a standard microphone. As the name suggests, the Quadcast offers four polar patterns which can be easily selected with a control dial on the back of the microphone. Offering stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bidirectional patterns, the Quadcast is a versatile audio tool that can find itself at home in gaming, professional recording, podcasting, and many other situations. An easily accessible gain control dial is found at the bottom of the microphone body for quick adjustments, and a built-in headphone jack is available for inline monitoring. The Quadcast anti-vibration shock mount reduces unwanted sounds and comes attached to a solid metal base that offers tilting adjustment. Additionally, a dual threaded mount adapter is included with the microphone for easy installation on either 3 8 inch or 5 8 inch thread size microphone stands. One of the coolest and useful features of the Quadcast is the tap to mute sensor at the top of the microphone. A simple tap is all it takes to mute the microphone with another tap to unmute. And if that wasn't cool enough, the Quadcast has built in red LED lighting that illuminates when the microphone is on and turns off when the microphone is muted. The red glow inside the Quadcast is seen through the integrated internal pop filter, which does a pretty good job of muting plosives. The Quadcast is also certified with both Discord and TeamSpeak, so rest assured that your audio communications will be heard clearly for your teammates and listeners. A single USB port at the back of the Quadcast provides connectivity for not just PCs, but also PlayStation 4 and Mac computers. A look at a microphone wouldn't be complete without some audio samples, so let's have a listen. The first test of the HyperX Quadcast is in stereo mode. This setting will give a good spatial experience with a definite left and right side to the soundstage. As I move to the left side of the microphone, my voice will travel to the left side of the soundstage. As I cross back across the center of the microphone, so does the audio until I reach the right side of the microphone and the audio ends up on the right of the soundstage. Now the Quadcast is set to omnidirectional. This setting will remove any left or right positioning no matter where I am in relation to the microphone. As I move back and forth from the left to the right, the audio stays centered in the soundstage. This mode is good for picking up audio equally in a 360 degree pattern. Next up is the cardioid setting, which is what most people will end up using as it provides the most sensitivity at the front and the least sensitivity in the back. This helps reduce unwanted sounds like typing on a keyboard, which is particularly important to streamers. The last setting is bidirectional, which has good sensitivity from the front and back of the microphone. This setting is great for interview style recording like in a face-to-face -face podcast environment. Left and right side pickup is greatly reduced compared to the front and rear of the Quadcast. As you've seen and heard, the HyperX Quadcast is not only a good looking microphone, but a great sounding microphone as well, and it has a ton of features built in. At a price point of $139.99, it's available now. So if you need a new microphone for maybe your podcasting or streaming, we definitely recommend checking it out. Until next time, catch you guys later.